Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 20th day of December Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is minimum absolute difference. So the input given here is an integer array ARR and we have to find all the pairs of elements with minimum absolute difference of any two elements and we have to return the list of pairs in ascending order. So also they have mentioned the criteria like if A and B are from array, then A must be less than B or uh, B minus A is equal to the minimum absolute difference of any two elements in the array. So let's understand this with an example. So here is a given example in the problem statement. The first thing we have to do is we have to find the difference between all the pairs in the given array and find the minimum one. And we have to find the list of pairs which is having the minimum absolute difference. So let's start from 4 and 4 has to interact with 3, 1 and Two to find the difference. The difference between 4 and 2 is 2 and 4 and 1 is 3 and 4 and 3 is 1. So out of these 3, 1 is going to be the minimum difference so far. So let us note down the minimum difference so far is 1. So we have paired up everything with uh, 4. So uh, lifting, leaving 4, we have to start from 2 and find the difference between 2 and 1. The difference is 1. And difference between 2 and 3, the dif difference is again 1. So we have found 2 more pairs with the minimum value. So for now, we have 4, 3, 2, 1 and 2, 3. So now we have left with uh, one more, 2 more elements to be paired with. So these elements are 1, 3 and we don't have any other elements to be paired with the other elements and uh, since 3 is paired with every other element we are done with it so the difference is 2 we are not going to add it so so far the minimum difference we have found in all the pairs is going to be 1 and this is the list we have found with the difference 1 and we are going to return this as our result so how are we going to approach this programmatically so we have to find the minimum absolute difference first and that is our first task so to find that, we have to check across all the possible pairs in the given array. But that is quite a tedious and slower process. So th there is a quicker way to achieve it. So how do we do it? First step is to sort the given array. So once you sort the given array, the difference between each and every adjacent element can be calculated and the minimum difference can be found. Let me first calculate the minimum difference and let you know why. So the difference here is 1 and the difference here is 1. Again, the difference here is 1. So this is the minimum difference. So once we calculate the minimum difference out of all the differences between the neighboring pairs, then we can again traverse the array to find the pairs whose difference is equal to 1. So why do we go for a sorting method? Because as we know, once we sorted it, the difference between the first element and the last element or the first element and the third elements or the difference between any element that goes further from that element would go on increasing. So if the difference is 1 here, the difference is going to be 2 and then 3 and goes on. So the minimum difference could be found only with its neighboring element and same goes with every other element in the array. So it is easier for us to find the minimum absolute difference if we sort the array. So as I said, the technique is simple. We first sort the given array and scan the complete sorted array to find the difference between the neighboring elements and whichever difference is the minimum out of all this, we are going to pick that and save that in the variable minimum, minimum or minimum difference. So once we found the minimum difference, we are going to again uh, scan the array to find if there is any pair whose difference is equal to one and add them to the list. So this is how this algorithm is going to work. So as I said, this is going to take two pass to find the minimum difference at the first pass and find the list of elements at the second pass. But we are going to do it in a single pass by updating the minimum difference every time we find a new difference. So if our minimum difference is equal to three, then our list is going to hold the elements or the pairs whose difference is going to be three. And etc. If suppose we find another difference which is minimum than 3, if suppose the difference is equal to 1, then we are going to update our element min is equal to 1 and we are going to reset the list to empty. So once we reset the element, sorry, the list to empty, we are going to find the pairs whose difference is equal, is equal to 1 and keep on updating it and finally we are going to return the result. Hope I made some sense and this is going to work in big O of n login time. 
log in time is taken to sort the given array and n time is to linearly traverse and find the pairs to add to the list. So let's go to the code now. So first let me declare a result list and finally which is the list we are going to return. Also we need a variable minimum to store the minimum difference so far. As I said, the first step is to sort the given array. So now we are going to iterate the array and at each step we are going to find the difference between every adjacent element and keep updating the minimum value. If our difference is less than minimum, then we have to update our new, diff new minimum value and we have to clear our result list because we have found the new difference and we have to update those elements or those pairs in the result list. So we are first clearing it and adding the new pairs. So since it is said if a pair is said to be a comma b and a must be less than b so we are updating a minus a, a of i first and then a of i plus 1 next because we have already sorted it so we know which is the higher and lower value. So if the difference is not minimum and that is the difference we continue to have then we have to update the pairs with that difference. So let's give it a try. So let's submit. Yes, the solution has been accepted and runs in 14 milliseconds, which is 97% faster than the other solutions. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in comments. Thank you.